Our city may not face a Sasquatch attack anytime soon, but Seattle can experience major earthquakes. What can you do to prepare? Plan ahead. You should be prepared to be on your own for seven to 10 days. Stash a supply of water, canned food, and other emergency supplies. Oh, and don't forget to secure your heavy furniture to walls. When things get unsteady, connecting with others is crucial. Start with a snap. Put those furry phalanges away. SNAP stands for Seattle Neighborhoods Actively Prepare. SNAP is a group of neighbors who've agreed to work together following a disaster. Members of SNAP groups all bring something different to the table. Plus, you'll finally get a chance to return that drill you borrowed from Barb. SNAP presentations can be requested from the Office of Emergency Management at any time. Once you take care of your home and neighborhood, go to the nearest community emergency hub. Community emergency hubs are locations designated by community members where people can meet to share information and resources in the aftermath of an emergency. Don't have a hub or SNAP group in your community? Contact Seattle Emergency Management to get things moving. But wait, there's more! You can also sign up for Alert Seattle, the city's official emergency notification system. Enroll online to receive free alerts from the city via text message, email, voice message, or social media. Still feel like you aren't ready? Seattle Office of Emergency Management organizes disaster skills workshops all over the city. Learn useful skills like how to use a fire extinguisher, how to care for and respond to injuries after a disaster, how much water to keep on hand, and how to control your utilities. Being prepared for disasters, like an earthquake, is the best way to keep from shaking in your boots. Visit the Seattle Office of Emergency Management website to learn more.